I went to Norway for 24 hours. But before I went, a couple of things happened. Not even 20 minutes into my trip, I had a little bit of a zipper malfunction. My zipper never ended up fully working again. So I walked around with a malfunction zipper the rest of the trip. But I had a 10 hour layover in New York City. So of course I had to explore the city. And then I took a red eye flight to Norway. After that good old one hour line at immigration, I took a metro to the city of Oslo. All right, made it to Oslo. It's actually a pretty nice place. I'm going to go meet a local. Let's go over there. Believe it or not, a lot of people speak English here. I mean, Norwegian is so closely related to English as it is, so it makes sense. All right, let's see if I can do this. Oh, that's him. I'm going to ring. Oh, shoot. Bro, ain't no way. It's not letting me go. It's because you need a key to go up, and I didn't have the key. No way am I trapped in the elevator. Soon after. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, Norwegian. English. English. Uh, five. Oh my. I'm trying to ring his doorbell. <laughs> Little did I know, it was the wrong doorbell. I don't know what to do. <laughs> We're going to 20. If that works, I don't think it will. Oh. Me I don't know if this is gonna work. I tried to ring Teddy's doorbell and I couldn't. Yeah, maybe because it was the wrong address. Oh my, oh my god, this is not the balcony. Let's go back down. He didn't give me his unit number. He actually did give me his unit number. I just didn't realize it. You know what, I quit trying. I'm going back down. I'm gonna go find Wi-Fi outside. All right, we're trying this again. We're gonna ring. Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, it just opened. Where am I going? Two. Oh my. It's not this floor. I'm going down. Teddy's probably very concerned right now. Um, this floor. Okay, no. This is definitely not it. Huffed trap. I don't know, bro. One again. Just take me to his place. So I have the correct address, and apparently it's not here. It's here, but it's not here. Someone told me. Makes no sense, but we're gonna drop. Oh my. And then this happened. I literally took the wrong train. So I'm literally walking to the right train right now. But anyway, I'm going on a hike. Well, right now I am technically. <laughs> People are playing football out there. Good news, I made it to the right train station. Now we gotta go make sure we go the right direction. Oh my. So it's just like five minutes and my throat is dried out. <laughs> Funny thing is, I don't know where I'm going. All the signs aren't Norwegian. And I don't have a SIM card too, so I couldn't even translate it. That rock looks like a bear. What the f***? It looks like a turtle. Look at this. It's the one where I know Norwegian. Look at that. Hibbas. Meanwhile, back in the lowlands. I really don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I guess there's not going to be that view to see. Like, everyone here speaks English. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, the hike ended up not really having a view to it. It was more of a little forest hike. That is gorgeous. This hike might not have been anything crazy. I think that view is worth it. Here's my luck with the buses. Those gates just went down. The train that I'm supposed to get on, right there. Just my luck. <laughs> See op for bond. See op for bomb. Once I was finally able to get on the train again, something really unexpected happened. <sighs> Well, I left my phone at the last stop. I just got on the bus, but my phone fell out of my pocket as I was getting up. So I gotta go back. My watch literally says no phone. Just a quick rundown of what happened after that clip. I went back to the station, got my phone back, and everything was fine. My eyes, I look like I'm hypnotized. But the next day came around and I took the train to the airport and then I flew to Turkey. Yo, so I'm just now waking up. Bro, look at that sunrise, bro. What? Alright, back to sleep.